What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. Okay, so we went through a grind fest, managed to buy ourselves some cool stuff, powered up some Pokemon and all that stuff. And I guess you guys have been waiting for this one, but I decided that, hey, you know what? Let's go right ahead and go for the OG team right here. Well, with the exclusion of a few. Yes, this is the team that I had decided to go with. We have gone into the One Island area, and we battled a crap ton thanks to the Amulet Coin and the Experience Share. And, well, I was like, you know what? Since uh, we do have a few trainers that are going to be above level 60, probably Gary, probably, you know, Lance and all that stuff, I might as well just keep it right here before, you know, the level four, uh, level 50s, level 55s and all that stuff. I want, me, I want to make it a little bit of a challenge right here. I did teach a few good moves to a few of my Pokemon right here. Like, I managed to buy myself the TM35 for Butkus so I can learn Flamethrower. You got Smasher, I gave it Earthquake. And then, Shocker. Yeah, I made it learn Thunder. But I also got Iron Tail too. That was a lot of money right there. Especially when I was kind of thinking it over, you know what, maybe I should try out this Pokemon, maybe I should try that Pokemon. Now what led to this decision right here was that, you know what, this is round one of the Elite Four, obviously, and, uh, well, I did power up, <laughs> I did power up the other Pokemon that I had on my team, and I realized that, you know what, let's stay with the Pokemon that we have right here, with the exclusion of uh, Gengar, I've always wanted to try this Pokemon out into the Pokemon League. Smash is always a Pokemon that, you know, I've managed to get away from when it comes to making a team and all that stuff. And, uh, well, let's see how this goes right here. So this whole episode, we're going to be going into the Elite Four, or we're going to be going into the Victory Road just to get to the Elite Four. And we're going to try and rebuild a, a few of our finances as well because, yes, we did spend a lot of money on a lot of stuff. Uh, hell, the TMs cost a pretty penny, especially. Well, not a pretty penny. I wouldn't say a pretty penny. I would say more of a pretty coin. Yeah, it's still kind of like a pretty penny and all that stuff. But as you guys can see right here, we are going through the Victory Road. Just remember that you need to have all the badges to get through this whole area right here. Okay? Miss a few badges and all that stuff, then yes, you won't be able to get through the specific area. And, uh, well, I'm gonna be a little strategic. I'm gonna be a little this and that with my Pokemon and all that stuff. And when we get to round number two, going into the next Pokemon League battle, I will... I am going to... Tr I'm going to try and have a uh, Pokemon from the Johto region. Some Pokemon that I've actually had in the Johto region and all that stuff. Um, that includes Torpedo. I will try and evolve it. Um, that is weak. That is if we can actually find uh, what was it called? Uh, that is if we can actually find the Dragon Scale in this whole area right here. Now that we can trade, yes, very very good place. And here is the final entrance going into the Earth Badge right here. And bam. Okay, so here we are guys, Victory Road. As many of you guys already know, you're going to need a Pokemon with strength to get to this area. Make sure to have a boatload of uh, repels as well because you will be going up against some Pokemon right here at level 44 and above and all that crud. Thankfully you have either this place or... What was it? One Island. And trust me, it takes a lot... The good combination would have to be, if you want to earn more money, go with, you know, the amulet coin when you're battling the double team. Not the double team, I should say. But when you're battling uh, both the fight crew and then the experience here on the specific Pokemon that you want to actually train up. Later on in this whole walkthrough, I'm going to show you the other spot, the best spot to actually train your Pokemon. When you're trying to get to the Elite Four the second time, this is actually the place where I managed to get my Pokemon up to, what was it, level 70? I, I tried doing that, getting them into level 70. So it was always, uh, it's always been a grind and all that crud, guys. But it works perfectly. Grabbing this item right here, found ourselves TMO2. That is Dragon Claw. Now, another thing that I've been wanting to do when it comes to team building right here, I wanted to use Dragonite. Seriously wanted to use Dragonite, but the thing was that I didn't necessarily, yeah, I didn't necessarily use it throughout this adventure, so I'm probably going to be doing that 
when I get to uh, the next area of this whole adventure, that is the next few islands of the Sevi Island series. And, well, if you guys have a nickname for this Pokemon, for this Dragon type Pokemon, please comment down below. That way we can actually get this nickname going before we get to the next uh, adventure of our Sevi Island, uh, you know, expedition and whatnot. So let's go right here, and before we battle you, let's go ahead and grab that extra item. It's always a hassle, it really is. It's always a hassle trying to get these items and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and use another repel right here. And let's go right here, grab this item. We found ourselves a rare candy that can be used. And as always, we're gonna be battling a whole bunch of trainers too. So let's go right ahead and battle these other trainers. So, as you can see, we got ourselves a cool trainer, Naomi, and she does have herself a Persian. Now, while I was battling, I did learn a few good moves, like Super Power right here. This is like Super Saiyan and all that stuff, and that right there is super effective. So, we're going to be speeding through right here. She's coming out with a Ponyta. We're going to go with Leonardo. Let's go with a Surf Attack. And here comes a Rapid Ash. Let's continue on right here. And Vulpix is coming out, and I don't know why I keep on panning out to the next one. So let's go right ahead. And just like that, Naomi has been defeated. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and move on forward. Founding ourselves a Ultra Bowl. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and switch out. I want to go with Smoke right here. Now, we already know something about Smoke, and that is that I may or may have not messed up on the whole... Yeah, the whole hypnosis thing. I was trying to do the whole hypnosis dream manner thing. So I went against it afterwards and I decided to teach it psychic. That way it can free up another move for another, you know, another attack and all that stuff. Here we have Thunder on Shocker, which can be used on a combination with the Rain Dance. That way it never misses. I did teach Blood Kiss Flamethrower. That way, you know, it can actually work with the with a better move right here. And obviously, leveling up Blood Kiss. I found this out, you can actually teach, or it actually learns extreme speed, which is very, very good. So here we go, Charizard, and we use Thunderbolt, obviously, this is a move that, you know, we got from uh, one of our uh, gym battles. And, well, we have to push this aside right here, so let's go right ahead and do that. And here we have Big Booty Bud Kiss, the Misfits, right here. And let's go straight to this guy, and that is how you do it. This will actually lead us to this uh, karate guy, so let's go right ahead and switch out. Let's go with Tornado. Now, another thing too, I was thinking of uh, not using Tornado. Yeah. But then I realized that, you know what, Tornado has been such a loyal Pokemon that let's go right ahead and use it. Let's go ahead and... Uh, let it win a few Pokemon battles, especially in the Pokemon League. Never actually, I never actually tried to use Tornado at, at any point in time. So I was like, okay, well, let's go right ahead and use that. And, well, we're going to battle everybody right here with Tornado. And, yes, I did teach it Steel Wing. This is just in case we have to go against somebody that, you know, doesn't have Steel Wing or anything. But here we have Kadabra. Let's go with a Shadow Ball. And just like that, we're going to go with a Shadow Ball yet again. And I already know that these Pokemon trainers in the Elite Four are going to be pretty strong, especially when they're going to be going up to, like, level 55 and above. So, the good thing about this is that, you know, I kind of want to challenge myself just a little bit. I know I pride myself in being a little bit more of a level than other Pokemon trainers, but this seems like uh, one of those things where I need to test out, like, test out what I can do. And uh, why are you running away from me? God dang it. Pay attention to me. I do that then who knows what will happen when we go up into the uh, the battle frontier in Pokemon Emerald and well let's go with a drill pack here comes a gold bat and or gold duck and thunder attack for the win there we go tornado grows a little 55 and well yeah we still have the experience here on that Pokemon so let's go right ahead and use another repel right here let's see where the hell are you oh wow passed it by hold on there we go and, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and switch out that. Let's go ahead and switch out that item. Take it from this guy. And how about let's give it the shocker right here. 
That way we can have a, an extra Pokemon at level 55. And here we go. And let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here too. So let's go straight to Smoke. Again. This is a Pokemon that I've always wanted to use. So there we go. And just like that we defeated this guy. Huh. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab this item. And here we found ourselves the TM07. Very good move for Ice-type Pokemon. And, well, we're not going to give up right here. And, yes, I have earned my right to come over here and kick everybody's candy, you know what. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and kick everybody's candy, you know what. Here we go. Rumors of a child prodigy. I hope that's me right there. I don't even know. So let's go right ahead and go with the Shadow Ball. Super effective. And this guy right here kicks our butt. Alright, time to get some revenge. Buckus, let's go with a flamethrower attack. And here comes a sand slash. So let's go straight for Leonardo. And I don't know why I did that. So here we go. Set. And let's go with Smasher. Go with an earthquake attack. And just like that, we're going to be taking on another Pokemon trainer with a superpower. And body slam. And rock slide. And there we go. Use three moves at a time. Let's go with Leonardo and Ice Beam, or not Ice Beam, but Super <laughs> Surf Attack right there. George has been defeated. We get a max revive, and we get to take on, talk to this guy, and he's like, so it was you who beat Giovanni of D Team Rocket. Yes. Yes, we were. Okay, so let's go right ahead. Let's go right ahead and revive one of our Pokemon right here. Let's go with Smoke. And, well, let's see. Hyper Potion for this guy. And, you know what, let's not waste another Hyper Potion. So, here's another thing that you guys will eventually find out. Uh, after the whole, uh, oh look at that, we found TM50 Overheat. Uh, this is what you will find out when you go into 3 Island. This is the spot where you're normally going to find Moltres. Obviously, Moltres has been moved over to, uh, what was it, Mount, or Mount Amber, so it won't be there no more. And, well, the, mo the most you're going to be getting is a friggin', uh, is a, fr it's a friggin' guard spec, yeah. And, well, let's go right ahead and battle this guy right here. And psychic attack. And here comes a Lapras, so here we go. And this guy, oh, look at that. <laughs> I messed it, it messed this up. Let's go right ahead and try it again. Thunder attack for the win. So that Lapras actually helped us out. As many of you guys don't, well, as many of you guys already know, a Rain Dance Thunder combination is perfect because if you don't want to miss any kind of uh, any kind of thunder attacks, Rain Dance is the go. That way, it makes it completely accurate, and it's kind of like the Sunny Day Solar Beam combination. You just don't need a you don't need an extra turn to actually uh, what was it called charge it. It's just right there, bam. And well, let's go right ahead and go right here. And there we go. Again, our repel has worn out. So let's see. Max repel. There we go. And let's go down here. Get to this guy. And there we go. We have taken out the extra spot right here. And what we're going to do now is battle another trainer. And yes, we will seek other trainers. So let's go right ahead and seek out each other. And yes. Encore is definitely not a stand, definitely not a thing that you should be using against me. So let's go with Smasher, Superpower for the win. And here comes Dugong. So let's go with Shocker right here, Thunderbolt, and Jigglypuff or Wigglytuff right here. Or no, she has a Jigglypuff. So Extreme Speed does it. And here comes a Chansey. That Pokemon right there has a crap ton of HP. And just like that, we get some more experience points. Look at that. Fantastic. Okay, so. Let's go right ahead and take on the next few trainers right here. And this guy, I believe, will probably have maybe. Oh yeah, he has. Yeah, he has Water type Pokemon. So let's go with Shadow Balls. There we go. And well, he's coming out with this Pokemon. So let's go with a Thunder Attack. And you messed up, buddy. So now I'm going to be taking advantage of this whole Thunder Attack right here. And. Got one more of those, and you know what? Let's go with this, and just like that, Colby has screwed himself over right there. Now, if that was the water-type trainer, obviously the next trainer will be the grass-type trainer right here. So let's go ahead and take on this, cha this chick, and well, 
here we are. Taking on uh, another cool trainer, and we're gonna be flamethrowing away. And just like that, we grow another level. And here comes a Parasect, and coming out with a Lapras. Okay, so that's a big curveball right there. Or actually, no, <laughs> I don't know what I read. Yes, we got Paralyzed, Iron Tail, and level 56. Shocker kicking some butt right there. So yes, the King of Paralysis lives on. And push that one in there. And it will lead towards the final portion of this uh, puzzle right here. And you know what? It's <laughs> it's actually a very good thing that, you know, I decided to speed up everything just because of uh, how long this, this whole thing would take. And there is a double team right there. So let's go right ahead and not switch. You know what? Let's keep these guys right here. Keep them at level 55, and, well, we're trying to become champions together. I don't know how that's going to work out. And here we have a Needle King and Queen. Let's go, Flamethrower, and Psychic Attack on this, and there we go. Look at that. Okay, so there we go. And just like that, they cannot become champions. And we have no items right here. So, turn around, and you'll find this individual. So, once you get to the very end of this whole area... You can talk to this guy, he's going to be like, You should be proud of yourself, having battled your way through Victory Road so courageously. In recognition of your feat, I will teach you Double Edge. Would you like me to teach you Double Edge? I would love to, but I'm going to keep this guy uh, for later on because, well, Double Edge is a very, very good move at a very high cost of recoil. So here we are, guys, in the Pokemon League. And, uh, let's see, there's an item right there. Look at that, we found ourselves a Lumberry. Again, keep an eye out for your surroundings right here, guys. And, well, we're going into the Indigo Plateau. We don't need any more repels. Yes, we're finally here, guys. Anywho, in the next episode, guys, episode 25, yes, you're going to have to wait until tomorrow. We will be going through the Pokemon League. We're going to be going through every single one of them. Hopefully we win. I do not know. Thank you guys again for being patient. Thank you guys for being supportive. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, you know, to keep the lights on right here, right there, the heart button. I will see you guys in the next episode as we take on the Pokemon League. See you guys.